Ayaw raw maghaka-haka ng kasalukuyang chairman ng Presidential Commission on Good Government kung ang nawawalang obra ni Picasso nga ba ang nahagip sa litrato nung bumisita si Presumptive President Bongbong Marcos sa kanyang ina. Aminado po ang PCGG, hindi madali ang paghahanap ng mga nawawalang obra. At nakatutok si Marizo Mali, exclusive. Sa kopya ng Return of Writ of Attachment na inisyo ng Sandigan Bayan Special Division noong September 2014, nahawak ng Presidential Commission on Good Government o PCGG, makikita ang listahan ng labing limang mamahaling painting na kinumpis ka noon ng PCGG, NBI at Office of the Solicitor General o OSG, mula sa tahanan ni dating First Lady Imelda Marcos sa San Juan City noong 2014. Kasama roon ang Reclining Woman the Sixth ng sikat na pintor na si Pablo Picasso. Nakasaad na ang hawak ng PCGG ay isang replika. Sa litratong ito na inilabas kamakailan ng kampo ni Presumptive President Bongbong Marcos kung saan dinalaw nila ng anak niya si Sandro ang dating unang ginang, makikitang nakasabit sa kanyang tahanan ang reclining woman art piece na ito ni Picasso. Tinanong namin sa PCGG kung posible bang ang nakasabit na artwork ay ang hinahanap na painting. I don't want to speculate. Okay? Uh, the fact remains that uh, we seized that painting in 2014. And it was reported as a replica in the sheriff's return. Will you take it upon yourselves to also check again on the house of the former first lady, considering that there's an evidence, there's this evidence that might lead to you finding another paint missing painting. Will you do that, sir? That's that's an activity which should not be publicized. Because you're looking for something. Uh, that's why I said the implementation of whatever it may be issued by the courts would no longer be effective because of the publicity and noise about it. You can do it discreetly, discreetly if you want. No? So if you ask me whether we will do something to visit the place, etc., I'm sorry, we will not tell you what we are going to do. I'll just assure you that okay. the PCGG is still committed to perform its mandate on recovery. Ayon sa PCGG, aabot sa 141 pa ang missing artwork na kanilang hinahagilap. Kinontrata na raw nila ang kilalang ahensyang Art Loss Register para tumulong sa paghahanap ng mga nawawalang mga painting. Pero aminado ang PCGG, hindi ito madali. Basically, it's not so successful no? because uh, only maybe one or two pieces of artworks were recovered. There's one uh, Picasso painting no? which was recovered through the missing artwork. And that's the, uh, I think, the one-head woman which was worth $1 million. As in other recoveries, it's, uh, it, it, it generate you know, uh, funds for the government. Kasalukuyan namang ino-authenticate pa raw ang mga na-recover ng mga artwork. Hindi raw ito madali, lalo't marami rito ay mga 18th century old painting pa. Ayon sa PCGG, gaano man kahirap, ay hindi raw sila titigil sa pagganap ng kanilang tungkulin. Katunayan tatlong mandato ang iniatas sa kanila ng sila'y buuin. Kabilang ang pagbawi sa mga umunoy ill-gotten wealth ng Rehimeng Marcos. Imbestigahan ang mga umunoy graft cases laban sa iba pang mga opisyal at magpatupad ng mahakbang kontra graft and corruption. Sabi ni Agbayani, patuloy lang daw ang trabaho ng PCGG hanggang sa susunod administrasyon. As, as uh, pronounced by our presumptive president, he stated that uh, he will not abolish PCGG or initiate any move to that effect. He will strengthen the commission uh, to perform Uh, the function of a, a permanent anti-corruption agency of the government. And nonetheless, uh, I'll just assure you that uh, the PCGG is not remiss in uh, performing its uh, task no, in, uh, in uh, pursuing its mandate under the law. Mariz Umali, Nakatutok, 24 Horas.